This is all stealing at the moment, so let's talk to... The dwarf is unnaturally still. You might mistake her for a corpse, were it not for a slight twitch of her eyelids. She calmly opens her left eye, then her right. What do you want? Vis I visited Lohar. He told me to come here and help you guys out. The dwarf unfolds her arms and shoots to her feet. All right, lizard. Right, glad Lohar ain't left to see to wither. Those brutes are taking their sweet time down there. I've got to send word soon. What do you hope to find down there? Who knows? Anything that gives away what Mordus has been up to. Probably got all sorts of tricks for covering his tracks, but the goons downstairs should snip out something. So what do you know about Mordus? Yeah, we're priests been hanging around Loha for ages. Now he's vanished. Those half-wits below will know more. Well, thanks for the information. We'll be heading down now. Do it then. But tell the lunkheads that Glenna sent you before they bash your brains in. Will do. Okay, and she's unlocking it. Maybe if we had a crowbar. You think a crowbar You've gotten yourselves trapped in a secret room, haven't you? Alright. I found something. Is that perhaps the switch to let them out? Opening. Yep. Duna's dagger, crimson dragon. You here to free us or kill us? We came in with Glenna's blessing. The male dwarf expels two lungfuls of air and glances happily at his companion. We've only been fretting here for a few hours, but it's felt like days. That snot-nosed priest's as slippery as a snake in an oil drum. Ain't found nothing that lets on what Mordus is up to. Only thing we managed were to close that door and get us stuck. And if there's another door out there, never could find it. Lohar ain't gonna be pleased. So you have no idea what he's up to or where he's gone? Ain't no telling where that priest has gone to. Started acting all funny not so long ago, then flew the coop. So, acting funny how? Well, at first, he was just buddying around with Lohar and the rest, you know. But then he'd start looking all sickly and run off for a day or two. Then some stranger tried taking old Loha down, but got himself caught and tied up. Ain't no coincidence Mordus went hanging around then. She taps her finger against her forehead. A woman knows things. Nothing's getting past me. Best we head off then. We've got business to attend to. That looks interesting. Yeah, I found that it's a one-eyed skull, so we probably... Yeah. It's missing an eye. As far as locks go, this one's pretty macabre. Yeah, I think we'll need to find a gem or something for that. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to just pick that one open. So, let's go in this room. And even if we do manage to lock ourselves in, we can teleport out via waypoints. Although I suppose just in case they would think to, you know, disable that for any reason. Where's that? Where's that pyramid? Pyramid. It's at the bottom. There's so much stuff in this inventory. It's right by the keys to right the right left. Okay, thank under you. Under a pillow. <sighs> there. Now, even if they block the freaking waypoints, which the only reason I'm nervous is because they do that on the Lady Vengeance, so I know that the waypoints can be blocked. So just in case, worst case, you can use your pyramid to just teleport to that one. The shrine depicts Duna, yet has clearly seen better days. Scratches and fissures deface its exterior, and its eyes have been gouged hollow. 
You run your hands along the exterior until your fingers graze a button. The room remains just as mute and... So I found a button. Let's try a dwarven prayer. Oh, well, you found the button that closes the door. This shrine to Duna may have been Try the button now. The sound of stone chafing stone. The okay, so that's the button to get out of here. It's under the shrine to Duna. And the button to close the door is the floor plate that you just stomped over. Yeah, my character was like, it's a trap. And it's like, uh, maybe well, say that before. Now that we know how to open the thing, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to... Okay. Over here and check this. Oh, there's something behind these crates. Oh. Okay, I was just grabbing all the loot. Yeah, I noticed. Well, this won't do. If I Schematics. Can get stuck, then I can get unstuck. A letter. And there was also a letter or something on the cook. I should probably try to figure out what that was about. Run upon the page is an elaborate schematic. It closely resembles the broken shrine to Duna and depicts a mechanism operated by a button. So if you couldn't find it. It just tells you. Letter to Mortis. Mortis, you are a lucky man. Your failure to assassinate Lohar could have been ruinous, yet our lord proves his grace by not only sparing you, but granting you Mord Akane. The ritual requires an excessive release of source, but I'm sure you're anxious to prove your allegiance. Use it wisely. Your orders remain the same. See that the weapons from the Peacemaker reach arcs unharmed. Was the Peacemaker the name of that boat that that captain yep. that wrecked? And she was like, do not touch that cargo. So there's something on that ship. Probably very dangerous. I'll wait their arrival. And do be careful. There are a number of Godwoken who have escaped the fort. Should they pass through Driftwood en route to their Meister? Be sure they pass no further. So even though Mortis could theoretically help us, I don't think I would trust him to. Personally, yeah, he's probably gonna try to kill us. Aloha, I would want to know of this. And then let's see, what did we pick up off the cook? Food splash recipe. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> okay. If you absolutely hadn't figured out how she was getting rid of the magisters. <laughs> There it is. The shrine depicts Duna, yet is clearly seen. You run your hands along the. There's no mistaking the sound of stone chafing stone. The entrance. There. And I'm gonna pick my pyramid up again. Off we go. And okay, this stuff is still marked as stealing, so there is an excavation log here that feels like it might actually be important. So there's no one in here at this point. I'm only going to take the excavation log, though, because I don't want to deal with people coming in going, Hey, there's been a thief. Yeah, well, nothing else here is to worth anything. I'm my wits. I know the vulture's altar is real. I've sunk too much money in the dig for it not to be. It has to be on the southeastern shore. Nowhere else left to look. It's right where I said, only a few feet down. But where did I leave the rest of that cursed book? I've forgotten the second half of the ritual. I only found some kind of... Uh, Okay, we're just... That's a Vaunt's one. I don't know if that's any useful at all. Yeah, we don't need that now, so... Uh, we're just gonna leave it so that if any of the guards going, Hey, there's been a theft. Uh, yeah. we are gonna search you. I shouldn't have anything on me at this point. Hopefully. <sighs> Apparently that bottle of beer's fine, though. So we still should not be leaving town by this bridge. There's a lot of source hounds. I mean, theoretically, I think we could use that uh, note from Raymond to get past them if we really needed to. But I'd rather just not deal with that confrontation. You were right next to me. Why did you do that? You'll never know. Ain't that the truth? Okay, so we you wanted to wait until you'd gotten a chance to talk to the other lone wolves to deal yeah. with him, yes? But we must make sure they all get... All right, removed. we need to return to those hens. They, the lone wolves obviously want to kill all us god -woken. And that's a problem. Recover Garvin's supplies. Find that wreck shipped. Did it mention it being the Peacemaker? Okay, it doesn't have it in the log. I'm pretty sure it was, though. Yeah. The sleeping man. I, apparently we still need to go talk to him. 
find that missing eye for that skull lock, find Sahela's people, investigate Lohar, but we're not going to turn that into the Magisters unless Lohar does something stupid like attack us. Okay, we need to talk to Lohar about what we found. And then these are all of the uh, things that we found from that log about dangerous sorcerers and where to find them. So that's the main quest. So we need to talk to Lohar. We need to return to those chickens and then mostly a bunch of other side stuff. I'll source you, Dallas. This again? No rest. No rest until the killer is found. The killer's been found. And they insisted on dying. Yeah, honestly, I was going to try to help him out, but... What is it? Unless you know something about the disappearances, leave me alone. I need to concentrate. So the tavern cook, and I collected a reward from the magisters. I, I had hoped maybe I could have been the one to solve the disappearances. Perhaps my comrades would have accepted me back into the fold then. Not gonna happen, dude. No matter. Farewell, stranger. It's for the best if you leave, maybe you'll eventually figure out that they're not gonna be able to join, though I doubt it. Yeah, they're not cool. Spirit smiles with contentment. Its spectral fingers now restored. There's a glimmer of what might be a ring on one of them. She vanishes. All right, off you go. No more haunted tavern. Oh, less haunted tavern. No, I think we got the other. Oh, there's still the the dude that wants us to take out your it, co-worker. It will eventually be a, a not haunted, haunted tavern. <laughs> Yep. Well, uh, no, there's still going to be the elf cook back there. And light, Didn't want to do that, but... In light of the fact that the lone wolves are killing us and stuff, um, tendering my resignation eventually soon. Yeah, probably. Just got to figure out what they're all up to so that I can get them all in a big group and then cast Fireball. Yep. Ideally a small room so that they can't run. Ideally a small room that's just made entirely out of wood so it just all goes... Hey, Better get out there before Mortis makes it all the way past Dox. Found a letter in Mortis's house. For a man, not a note. Well, a note's what I got. He takes the letter from your hands and reads it quickly, face hardening with anger as he reaches the end. Bloody God's damn spit sucking weasel! That bad, huh? Not just for me and mine. Not just for you and yours. This is bad. For everyone. What is Mordecai? If I know, but it don't sound good. Seems as though Mordus wasn't mine after all. Trouble is, I don't know whose he is. Of course. That's why I haven't heard from the cave. Sabotage. Listen up, I need your help. We all do. Mordus has his hands on something dangerous. Something I was trying to protect us from. Not just my folks. The whole damn realm. What kind of stuff do you mean? Me and mine, we move classified cargo. Take it right off Magister ships and put it into the hands of those that will use it rightly. Trouble is... We came across something no one ought to have. Not the Magisters, not my folks, not the gods themselves. I ordered it to be destroyed. I guess Mordus, whoever he's working for, wants it for themselves. That can't happen. Given how everyone's talking about it, I get the feeling you mean something on par with Death Fog. Or worse. Whatever it is, bad. Do you know where Mortis is now? Reckon I can guess. My people had an operation up in the caves outside town. Good access to red ships and plenty of privacy too. Haven't heard from them in a couple of days now. I thought maybe we'd lost the messengers to Voidwoken in the hills, but now... I think it's worse than I thought. I bet my lucky left foot Mortis is in the cave. You gotta get to him before he gets his hands on that cargo. Pray to whoever you pray to that it ain't too late. Do what I can. Someone with a 
little sense around here. Give me your map. I'll show you where we were operating, where I think Mordus will be. I don't want to know what'll happen if he gets what he's after. Okay, so we have to go clean up that mess. So we need to go, again, chickens and the eggs, and I think most of this other stuff is going to take us outside of Driftwood, but we may as well go talk to that sleeping guy one more time. It keeps telling us to go do that, and... Hmm. You're willing to risk Fort Joy for one night with a lizard? Maybe. Then you're an idiot. Sleeping guys in here. <laughs> the man sleeps on. His eyes flicker open, but he looks like he's still asleep. <laughs> Mother. Okay. Uh, as the head said, don't know in the chest. He goes back to sleep. The man sleeps on. His eyes flicker open. Get away. He goes back Get away from the chest. I'm not I'm trying to talk to him, game. Why do you keep sleeps on? His eyes flick wide open. But he goes back. Okay, one more. His eyes He goes Okay, so I think at this point we need to just open the dang chest to move this along. So that's your job. I'm just gonna shut the door. Curiosity kills the cat. Uh, do you have your thievery? Okay, let me try then. This is a password thing. The chest won't open. It doesn't open. I'm gonna order it to open. And I shall open. Did a box just speak to me? The word. The magic word. And I shall open. Well, he keeps saying mother, so let's try that. No. Open. No. Unclose. Close. Already closed. Chest. A chest. Reveal. An ancient word for open. I did not understand. I'm going. Want a buffalo? Going to enunciate better. Is your buffalo unwell? Disgorge. No. Yes, you could. Try swearing. Do not profane. Speak the word, and I shall open. An excellent. The man sleeps. Uh, Poke cheese. Poke. What? What is the magic word for the chest? See, he settles back to sleep. Well, this is gonna get weird. <laughs> Awkward. Yes, I'm your mom. Now ask. But Tell me the word to open this chest. I need to know what's in it. I might not even take what's in it, but I need to know. Yeah. Mother, it's so obvious. The word. And then goes back to... What if the password is literally word? The word. The word. For your safety, please... Standing back. With the tiniest click. I just, I need to know what's in this dang thing. Okay. A magic axe and some stuff to sell. You know what? It's come with me. You can keep your blankets. Is there anyone in this tavern we haven't talked to? I don't think we've talked to you, actually. You with a stare. Looks you up and down. Weighs you up. The cut of your cloth. The weight of your bag. A moment passes. Then a smile creases his face. A smile carefully constructed to look friendly and authentic. A smile that doesn't reach his eyes. 
Greetings, my lord. Looking to ease the pain of a decaying world? You're in the right place. Beers are ordered at the bar, but can I interest you in a nourishing bowl of stew? I think I'm going to pass on the stew, but... You seem like you have something that you're wanting to either offer, like a job or something you're trying to sell me. I don't know what, but I guess I'm looking for something a little more exciting. He purses his lips. His fingers drum a pattern on his elbow as he assesses you. Stop stalling and come out with it. A lascivious smile spreads across his face. His tongue darts from his mouth to lick the spittle from his lips. Let me ask you this. Across the world, who is renowned above all others for their exquisite lovemaking abilities? Why me, of course. My dear prince, I'm sure this is true. But I believe one of your kin is even more talented than your good self. And for an insignificantly small sum, I can make the introductions. Okay, he can't possibly be any better than me. But fine. He holds out his hand. The money vanishes into his apron. Now, let me ask you this. What <clears throat> flavor of stew do you prefer? Do you like the strong and meaty variety? Or do you prefer it delicate and fragrant, if you get my meaning? Surprise me. I admire your sense of adventure. Upstairs, my friend, on the second floor, the experience of a lifetime awaits you. He gives you a mischievous grip, then dips his head in salute and turns away. Well then. Not what I was expecting, but it's a quest. Yeah, you've got enough in front of you. I guess up here because this is the only part of the tavern that we've not been in. A lizard, tall and beautiful, turns towards you. He fixes you with a sultry look, and when he speaks, it's like listening to honeyed gravel. I'm so glad you've come. Are you here to... <clears throat> Water my flowers? Yep. I've been so, so lonely since my man went away to fight the coming war. I need someone to take care of me. You're so masculine, darling. Won't you take care of me? Well, where should I start? Come on over here, big boy, and I'll tell you. A mischievous glint appears in the dark of his eye. What I'm thinking. Holding your gaze, a shadow of a smile playing on his lips, he reaches for the clasp of his robe. You reach him, and he unfastens it. Then, quite deliberately, he lets it fall. Oops. Looks like you dropped something. Why don't you pick it up for me, loverkin? He reaches down, grabs you by the back of the head. You allow him to pull you to him. Your world explodes in bliss. Larian, you are all very horny. You wake into what still seems to be a dream. The scent of home, the perfume you've always associated with her, the woman you've dreamt of since birth. You blink, and there she really is. Not the person you thought you went to bed with, but she, the Red Princess. Despite a sense of deep belonging, despite the rapture of your bodies so very close together, you dread the possibility even this might be nothing but a mirage. Who are you? Her only reply is a smile as radiant as a thousand suns. Her lips part as if to speak, but the words that reach you seem to echo from a celestial distance. Come find me. Come be with me. You reach for her. But there's no one to be touched, and your heart sinks when you realize she's an apparition after all. Next, a flash of magic, and she's gone. Yes, I will find you. I will be with you. He gives you his mischievous grin. I did promise you the experience of a lifetime. 
Did you have anything to do with that apparition? Red skin. Uh, are you sure you didn't do anything funny with a wig and a mirror? I know no red skinned lizard, but your honored self. So I'm wondering if it's a combination between you being Red Prince lo royalty and us actually talking to Lohar first for once. Yeah, maybe. That gave you pretty much the best outcome you could get on those scenes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Bishop Alexander was slain by Seegers. Culprits still at large. Okay, so we need to go check on the chickens, and they were over here. So let's do that. And there was that ancient altar for that, I believe it's like an armor set or something. It's the keep calm and carry on quest, I think. And then there's the abandoned supplies for that merchant. Oh yeah, the cat's treasure, the one we fed a bunch of fish to. And then the cave that Lohar wants us to check out, I think. And then the shipwreck. So there's a bunch of stuff off in that direction we need to do. That's a bridge to... I guess Blood Moon Island, which had some stuff going on. That's the Livewood Sawmill, which is where the, is other... where the other lone wolves are, according to your associate. The Paladin Checkpoint, which is where someone who needs to talk to me yeah. is. And Riker's Rest in Stone Garden. I think one of the, the uh, sorcerers was hanging out up there. And the Black Pits, which is where another one of the sorcerers was last spotted. So a lot of stuff, but I think most of it is like over here. So that's probably where we'll head after we check on the chickens. I'm all right as long as I don't think about it too. Although it probably just gonna be check on the chickens and then take a break. We've been going for a while. Every time we play this game, we find something new. Yep. It's raining. Well, this ended poorly. Yep. Uh... Wow. Peeper's father. Yes, yes, yes. He wanders. He roars, roosts. But he is special. He can help Peeper. Can keep him safe. All right. Let's see. Don't talk to Peeper yet. Okay. That's where the magic cruiser is. I get the feeling that this is going to be another we have to escort a very vulnerable animal that tends to run into things to that spot. So we may so want to actually clear a route to it first and, and then. then come back and get Peeper and take him there. That would make sense. Yeah. So that is what we will be doing next time. But for now, I think Bill is about to just fall asleep and bash his head into the mic. Maybe. <laughs> so That might happen. We're gonna be taking a, late. <laughs> we're gonna be taking a break and i'm we especially don't want to do escort missions while we're not fresh and yeah, that, wide awake that would end poorly i mean good lord we actually we've already accidentally gotten sir laura killed once today technically <laughs> because of those dang petrified steam bent things so Yes. Well, I mean, technically, it was me that was going to die. But you know that Sir Laura would have just run right into the dang thing and died before you could get him out of there. So, so that was just going to go horribly. Well, let's just do that anyway. Always with the just, saving. Just, I don't know if I saved before or if that was the first time I saved. That's how tired we're getting. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> <laughs>